Welcome to this introduction of streaming telemetry on the latest PowerEdge servers. Fairly recently we added a feature to the iDRAC where it is possible now to take a lot of different telemetry data from a server, stream that across the network, uh, put it in a database and then analyze it or, or visualize it in some way. You can get quite detailed information from a box. Of course, in regard to all the different hardware, the CPU, memory, the hard drives, etc. Um, but also, you know, for the wattage usage for different parts of the server, the airflow and many other things that are quite interesting. So, why would you use this? What would you primarily use it for? Well, you could uh, run it through an inferencing engine and um, get out, uh, for example, information about um, failure before it happens. So you can do uh, anomaly detection. You could also use it in order to optimize your IT operations, uh, make sure that you know exactly what's going on, where and how. And uh, you can also use it to make sure that you're not buying too much or too little of uh, your hardware. Make sure that you can, can see the usage levels or everything. Uh, and of course, it gives you a lot of detailed metrics for the temperatures in the box and different areas and um, how much uh, of power you're using where. So it can be useful for power and cooling uh, as well. And the last thing is for uh, security. So you could utilize this in order to get more information about your environment for security and compliance reasons as well. There are quite a few different documents already published on this, uh, so feel free to go and have a look at that. I would highly recommend that you have a look at the Introduction to Telemetry Streaming, uh, which is a very good guide. Uh, and um, this video is based on a lot of information from that guide. Now, you do need to have a server, uh, 14G, latest type, and uh, you need to actually have the, the latest firmware applied as well. It needs to be four point something. Uh, you need to have a data center license, since this is a licensed feature. Keep in mind, however, that you can get a 30-day trial, so uh, it's not a, not a problem even if you don't have the data center license installed at the moment. Just download the trial and uh, give it a go for 30 days. You can, of course, ingest the data in many ways. Uh, and uh, in this case, we're going to look at Redfish SSE uh, because that is very easy and quick to get started with. But there are other methods as well. Data storage is the same way, of course. You can store it any way you want. Uh, in this case, we'll look at InfluxDB uh, since it's a good time series database that is very useful in these cases. But there are other options as well. Uh, and finally, data visualization. Uh, many tools there too. In this case, we're going to use Grafana. But of course, other options are available. And uh, Redfish SSE comes from uh, server sent events, uh, so it's a continuous GET. You do a GET towards a particular URI on the server, and it will continuously send you data. It's a GET that never ends. And um, with that, you take the data and you send it into your uh, database, and then Grafana hooks up to the database to visualize the data. This is uh, an overview of the architecture. So it's uh, fairly straightforward, really. The script that is running in the middle, uh, with Python script, is the only really custom piece of this. And that is available at my GitHub page to, for download for anybody who wants to try this out. But it's really very, very short and very easy to get hold of. In fact, the only thing you really need to see the data is a web browser. Uh, but of course, you can't capture the data well that way, so that's the reason we're using a script. So we're now going to do a quick demo of the telemetry streaming feature. We are here in the iDRAC of the server. We have verified that the license is a data center level license and also that we have the iDRAC firmware at the latest version, version 4.10.10.10. Then we go into configuration, system settings and telemetry streaming where we can verify that streaming is enabled and we have a few reports enabled as well. Now it is just with this possible to go to a URL uh, under the, the iDRAC and um, access the streaming data directly. So we're going to do that now just to verify that it works. We do have to authenticate in order to get to this URL. Once we do that, we can see the streaming data being outputted. Now, of course, it's not very useful to have the data in the browser. So I've created a script in Python that uh, enables you to take the, uh, the data from that same URL and uh, download it, put it into a, a time series database called InfluxDB. And as you can see, if you scroll down, that the URL that we are using is indeed the very same that we just looked at in the browser. So there's nothing strange going on there. Now if we go and have a look at the database, so InfluxDB is running as a container 
on this uh, Ubuntu server. So we're going to enter that, enter the, the, the uh, container, look at the, uh, the database using the InfluxDB client. So we have a database created already called telemetry, which we're going to use. We do have some old measurements in there, but we're going to add a new set of measurements under um, a new label. So the label we can see in the script here is uh, demo server, and that's what we're going to see in the database once we activate the script. So we're going to run the, the script now. We've, um, we're going to load the environment to start with so that we get the, the right environment variables for InfluxDB. You can see them here now. We've got our username, password, uh, IP address, and uh, credentials. So we just execute the script, and that will uh, now get the readings from the server. And of course, every reading it gets, it will enter into InfluxDB. So if we now refresh, we can see we have a new set of measurements called demo server. And if we go and look at the keys for that set of measurements, we will see now what type of data we have been able to capture. So we've got some CPU uh, temperature values and some other things like uh, fan speeds. And uh, we're getting more and more data. Um, so we just refresh this once more and you can see that we're getting even more uh, types of values in there. Now, of course, there's no point in just looking at it here. So we want to visualize it, which we're going to use Grafana for. So Grafana is running as a, another container on the same server under port 3000. So we can go in and we can look at the, um, the data sources that we have. You can see here that InfluxDB is listed and we're accessing the same URL there, the local IP address of the same server. Let's uh, create a new dashboard and add a query so we can see the data. Let's make this a little bit bigger. So uh, we can have a look at the measurements. So the demo server that we just created is in there and add a location, which is Meta CSC in this case. And then we can go and look at the values, the data values we have. And this is the same that we saw in the database just a moment ago. You can just pick whatever you want to uh, graphically represent. In this case, we'll just take the uh, CPU, uh, CPU temperature value. We check this thing, and we can see immediately that we have some data in there already. Let's go and click on Gauge, change the type. And um, instead of mean, we do the last value that we've got. We're going to add Celsius, since that's what uh, the data is. And uh, just change around the colors a little bit to make it a bit prettier. Now, of course, the last thing we do is to add a title uh, that represents the data that we're looking at. In this case, it's CPU uh, temperature. And that's essentially it. So then we can just keep doing this, but of course uh, it takes a little while. So um, instead, let's go and have a look at the dashboard that I created earlier. That connects to the same uh, server. I'm going to highlight in this case uh, a, uh, a series of data in the graph. And uh, zoom it to size so we can uh, see everything properly. And that's really all there is to it. Thank you for watching, and if you want to know how to set this up, please check out the other videos in this series.